Hello everyone. This is the fourth in my series of videos on uh, questions in the Book of Questions. This is the 2013 edition. Uh, now this one I think is going to be fairly short if I stick to um, one question, but we'll, we'll go here. Uh, question number four. Ignoring all financial considerations, would you rather spend the next five years confined to an urban mecca like New York City or a beautiful isolated town on the California coast? I would prefer the beautiful isolated town on the California coast. And the reason is in the name, beautiful isolated town. Um, yeah, I, I have an appreciation for the uh, beauty of uh, natural uh, landscapes and even human architecture. Uh, and I don't see a lot of beauty overall in the uh, utilitarian structures of a lot of uh, uh, skyscrapers and so on like you find in the urban meccas. Now, that's not to say there's no architectural uh, uh, pleasantries in the uh, buildings in in uh, say New York or what have you, uh, there is some of that, uh, but there are uh, practical limitations to what you can do with the skyscrapers, and you're not going to find the skyscrapers in that isolated town, uh, and you can have just as much architectural pleasantness in that isolated town as you can in a dense city. Now, the the real reason I would prefer that that isolated town is the lower population density. Uh, there's something to be said for having room to turn around and sneeze without smacking five people in the face and getting your snot on ten others, you know. Like the, the population density in somewhere like New York is crazy. Now this doesn't say that you're confined to the central point of the city, but I think that's reasonable to, to think that because the suburbs, they're not so much urban as they are, you know, suburban, right? They're, they're not, and, and a lot of them aren't actually part of the city proper anyway. So we're talking about somewhere like Manhattan or something like that, right? Now, the isolated town, it's going to have fewer amenities uh, by virtue of being isolated. And I'm assuming relatively small. Uh, it's not going to be the size of New York, obviously, so it's not going to have as many specialized services, that sort of thing. That's just a function of population. Uh, but the question to ask is, how isolated is the town? Uh, is there, there, there's going to be probably a highway going through it. Uh, there is a highway down the California coast, so there has to be a highway going through it. Uh, okay, so we've got uh, some transportation in there. So we can get stuff. We can order stuff from far away and it can get there. There must be transportation there because there is transportation on the California coast. The whole length of it. Uh, and we can assume, because it doesn't say otherwise, that telecommunication still exists. So we can talk to people elsewhere on the planet. We can see what's going on. Uh, so that means I still have access to the interweb. I still have access to uh, television shows and things like that. So I would still have most, pretty much most of what uh, I generally want to have anyway. Uh, so it, it's reasonable to think that, that these things would still exist because the question says does not say otherwise. And uh, even the most isolated town in, uh, in uh, the uh, contiguous 48 states uh, has telecommunications of some kind going on. And it wouldn't be difficult to, uh, uh, to get at least some level of uh, communication going, even if it didn't, because it wouldn't be that far away from somewhere that did. So... Uh, it, it doesn't make sense that the telecommunications wouldn't be there, and it doesn't make sense that you wouldn't have freight in and out. So 
And that means if you have there's something you want that you have to get from somewhere far away that you would normally go down to a shop in the city to get, you can get it. You just have to wait a while for it to arrive. That's fine. I actually grew up in that type of situation where uh, if you wanted to get something from uh, you know, something fairly specialized, you sent off for it. You, you didn't uh, get in your car and drive down to the local shop and buy it. And you didn't even get in your car and drive down to the local city and buy it on a whim. Uh, you actually had to plan uh, for what you wanted and order it by mail and all of that stuff. Uh, it's easier to order things with the interweb, but it really hasn't changed much there. Uh, and so, yeah, there's some convenience to that urban mecca. You know, you have more amenities. You, you'd have uh, more choice in your uh, entertainment and things like movie theaters, uh, you know, libraries, that sort of thing. But I think that the, that isolated town with its relative small size is going to have sufficient uh amenities to be fine and quite frankly i would much prefer the more open space the nicer landscape and and uh, not being hemmed in by people over the uh, crazy population density in somewhere like manhattan so that's really what it comes down to uh and because it said, forget the financial considerations, we're going to assume that I have a job either way that can pay my way either way. Or somebody is paying for my, my uh, upkeep, you know. So uh, if I didn't have to make any, any decision based on financial realities, I would hands down pick that isolated California coastal town. Uh, it's a no-brainer. It's only when you bring the financial considerations in that it starts to get more uh, complicated. And even then, it may actually be a better choice, assuming you had some sort of a job there. Anyway, that's all uh, for this time. I guess the video didn't end up being too short, so here we go. Uh, if you liked the video or you didn't, uh, leave a like or a dislike. It doesn't matter to me uh, which way you go on that. Just leave one. Uh, if you want to be notified of f future videos, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications with that bell icon. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.